everybody, so I am here today with my July favorites. Um, it's nearing the end of the month, so it's about that time. So I figured I had a few things that I wanted to share with you guys. I feel like I have more random favorites than actual beauty favorites, but I figured I'd share it anyways. Um, also, I'd like to point out my uh, nice little mirrors back there. Do you like them? Do you like them? There's a set of six. I just hung them up last weekend with my boyfriend. Thanks to his help, we were able to successfully get them up and centered in the wall, and they look nice. And I'm really excited about it. So that's kind of a favorite, although they were up at the end of the month. But first, I'll start with my beauty favorites. Um, okay, so first of all, I'll start with this. It's the Peter Thomas Roth CC Cream. Now, this is like a, um, I don't know, what do you call it? It was like a, I got it with a coupon code on Sephora. It was like a bonus sample thing. It's in the shade Light to Medium. And it's just a CC Cream Complexion Corrector with SPF 30 and I've been using this lately because I feel like I've been getting a little bit more tan than I have been. Um, I've been outside a lot, out in the sun and right now I don't feel like I look very tan but I assume that's just the lighting. Um, and this is a little bit darker than a couple of the foundations I'm used to using and I've been using this because it sort of gives my face a matte finish. I feel like it's a really nice finish, the color blends really nicely and I like the coverage. It's not super crazy but um, like super crazy heavy coverage, but it does give my, me enough coverage on my skin. So I really like this. Um, it's half an ounce, so about half the size that most normal foundations would be. Next I have a couple more face products. First of all is Benefits Hervana. Um, this came out, I don't know, what is it? A year, a year and a half ago or so. Um, one day on a whim I just decided to use it again. If you haven't seen it, that's what it looks like. It's a really nice pink glowy color. It's on my cheeks right now. And it just sort of gives you that perfect pink glow, and I really like it a lot. Um, and so I've been using that, and I've also been using the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish. Um, and this one's in the shade Light Scapade. I've been using this as a highlight on my cheekbones. And the combination of the two, I think, just gives me the perfect, like, summer glowy sort of look. Um, not necessarily, like, super bronzed or anything, but just, like, glowy and healthy skin. And so I've really been liking these two put on my cheeks. Every once in a while, like, I'll pick up something different, and then I always, the next day, go straight back to these, because I think they look really nice together. Um, and then my last beauty favorite, um, is this Maybelline Color Whisper, and it's in the shade Pin Up Peach. Put a little bit on right now. I don't even know if you can tell. It's a pretty natural color, but it definitely gives my lips some color that they don't normally have. I think it looks really nice. It's even semi-moisturizing, and... I like the color it gives, it's, and it's super easy to put on, like, sitting at my desk at work, I can just pull it out and put it on really quick if I feel like my lips are dry, or if I can feel it wearing away or anything. So I like this, and I love the packaging, I think it's super pretty, and it's just kind of fun to, like, pull out of your purse. Um, next is, I guess, still a beauty-related thing, so I buy on Nora. I think I mentioned this last month, but it's amazing, it's just as amazing as everyone else says. I find myself reaching for it every single night to remove my makeup. I've got big, like, oval cotton rounds that I use, so that's perfect to do my whole face and then my eyes as well. And everything just comes off so easily, so quickly, without, like, any scrubbing or anything. So, Bioderma has been amazing. Um, and then on to some not-so, um, beauty-related type things. I guess they're all kind of related still, but not really. Um, so I have a new pair of tennis shoes, which I showed in my haul, my outlet mall haul. These are Nike Flux tennis shoes in this cute hot pink color with gray. Um, I haven't used them a ton, but the few times that I have, I love them. And I'm super excited just to have tennis shoes. It's giving me motivation to go out. I can't really run, but it's giving me motivation to go out and like walk or jog or ride my bike. Um, and so these are just kind of exciting, and I love them a lot. And that kind of goes along with um, my sort of, I don't know, I'm trying to eat healthier and just sort of live a healthier lifestyle. And so far I've really been appreciating it. I've lost some weight so far this summer and I really want to continue that into the fall months. And I'm hoping that I can. Um, I don't know, I've just been trying to eat healthier, concentrate more on eating more fruits and vegetables and not eating so much processed food and not eating out so much. Um, so I try to prepare all my meals at home, pack a lunch to take to work. Things like that. I still definitely eat processed foods. I'm not like a vegetarian either. Just trying to make improvements and sort of eat healthier in general. 
And one of those things that has helped, or one thing that has helped me in that, is drinking good green smoothies every morning. Um, today's actually the 30th of July, so I have successfully drank 30 green smoothies this month. Well, 29. 29 days I've had green smoothies. I've had a couple on different days, so we'll say it's covered. One day I missed in, early in the in the 30 day challenge, but got back on track and I have completed the challenge, I would say pretty successfully. I was a part of the 30 day green smoothie challenge from Simple Green Smoothies. And I don't know, it was super fun. Every week they emailed out new um, recipes for the week and then a shopping list. So you could go pick up all your greens and your fruits and um, like your liquids or like seeds and things that you want needed to put into your smoothies and so you had that already prepared at the beginning of the week and then throughout the week you could just sort of mix up your smoothies as you went and as you needed them and I thought it was a ton of fun. Um, it was kind of interesting to try out all the smoothies. I still have a couple recipes I haven't tried yet from the list so I plan on doing that in the next few days and I'm just going to continue drinking green smoothies um, for a while as long as I feel like I need it. I've just kind of gotten used to it. So it's just like my morning routine. I get up and I drink my green smoothie and that's what I use as my breakfast instead of eating something, you know, like toast or cereal. I just have a green smoothie and so then I get my greens in. It's either spinach or kale and then I also get a good good chunk of fruits in and then usually like it's coconut water or water or um, like almond milk or coconut milk. So then I get some other nutrients in there as well. And so I've really been enjoying it a lot and I can't imagine not being a part of it, not being drinking green smoothies. So uh, hopefully we'll be continuing that a lot. I have been sort of missing eating cereal lately, so um, I'll substitute that for a different meal or as a snack sometime later in the day because I really do like cereal and like toast and things. Um, and then another thing, <laughs> this is kind of healthy, kind of not. There are these butter toffee oven roasted almonds from Blue Diamond. They are delicious. This package was really, it was like $8.50 and I was like, I don't want to spend that, but it's, it's still got a ton and I've been eating them for a couple weeks now. And they're delicious. They, I think they're literally just, a, they're, they're not much worse for you than just like normal oven roasted um, almonds, if that makes sense. I told my mom, I was like, yeah, I got, you know, butter toffee almonds, almonds. and she was like, well, those are sure healthy for you, but they actually are. Um, I think all they have is some extra sugar there's like five grams of sugar in a serving, which is not bad at all, if you ask me. It's a really sweet treat. They're delicious, mm. and I've just been loving them and reaching for them like every single day. Um, as just a little snack, I'll put them in a little plastic baggie and take them with me to work so I have like a serving size all ready to go. So, love these, and when I run out, I'm probably going to buy more. Not gonna lie. Um, and then sort of, part of not eating so healthy, I mean, it's frozen yogurt, so it's good, right? But, um, cherry berry, you can see up there, it says berry bonus bucks. It's my little bonus bucks card from cherry berry. I have been loving cherry berry. They just opened one up in mm -hmm. my town. Sorry about my phone. And it's just been, like, I don't know, fun to go try it out. Like, I heard it was open. Sorry about my keys. Um, and I was like, well, let's go. Because there's another Froyo place, but I was like, well, there's a new one. Let's try it out. And from what I can tell, it's a little bit cheaper. They have a pretty good rewards program, and I've just been loving it. Um, I've definitely gone more times than I should have gone this month, but it's so good, and it's just a fun treat to go out with friends or something and go enjoy some frozen yogurt and fun toppings and whatnot. Um, and then last but not least, um, sort of the, the things I've been doing to work on my room, like I said, my mirrors, and then I also did two little DIY things, which I'll turn around the camera and show you really quick. I'm working on other things as well, um, but we'll show you these really quick, just a second. So here we have my one DIY, which I have a whole video up about. Um, it's this, I don't know, I call it my cake stand tray thing that I made. I just think it's super cute. It's really fun, and it makes like a nice and useful addition to my dresser. And there's a picture of my Spanish host parents. I miss them a lot. Um, and then here's this little drawer. I didn't really make any of this, but it came, I got it at TJ Maxx. It was on sale because it's all like ripped up, if you can see. I was like, whatever, it's fine. It'll look like rustic. And I've smudged the Espana quite a bit, but whatever. I just wrote Espana on it. And these are all the little like papers and like things I got while I was in Spain. The little pamphlets and tickets and plane tickets and... Cedra bottle labels and maps and 
everything. And I just think it's really cute. It's a nice way to keep all of my souvenirs sort of in one place so that I have them all if I want them and it's not like they're cluttering and they're still on display. So yeah. Also, this isn't really in my favorites for this month, but um, I will be going to Lollapalooza the, for the first few days of August, so I'm really excited about that. Hopefully I'll bring, well, I don't have my um, phone with me, so hopefully I'll get some footage and maybe put a little compilation vlog up. And so I'm really excited for that, so I spent a lot of time preparing for that and shopping and getting all the necessities and whatnot. So there'll be a few Lollapalooza videos up coming up within the next week or two. So I hope you enjoy watching those as well um, with the beginning of August and the start of school rolling around. Um, but I hope you're all enjoying your summer like I am. Um, yeah, with that, I will talk to you guys later with a new video. The next one will probably be Lollapalooza related. And yeah, thanks for watching. Bye!